coming to call that oh my god there it is <laughs> that's the house that is the house so i've been planning a uh, historic murders of portland episode based on a really traumatized are these people gonna let me go are you gonna let me go okay um based on this really sad case of a young woman who was killed because she rejected a guy. I've done a lot of episodes on that, but this one particularly got to me. I didn't realize I was gonna come down this hill and be right next to the house where the murder happened. Most of these cases that I do, because they're pre-1940, the, um, the original buildings, homes, whatever, aren't, aren't there anymore. And this is a case from, I think, 1921, of a woman named Emma Ulrich, who was murdered by a guy, I can't remember his name, he had a very distinct last name. And I kid you not, the murder happened in this house right here, right across from me. And the Ulrich worked in a building downtown called the Lewis Building that's still there. Excuse me, do around this. And I'm just here, so I'm just doing it. And she met the uh, the guy that ran the uh, he was a, a guy that ran the elevator in the building. She got on the elevator one day. He saw her and was blown away. And he spent the next several months trying to get her to fall for him, trying to get her to marry him. And she kept uh, refusing him. One day he just was waiting for her to get off her uh, trolley to go home to this house right here. And he followed her there, chased her inside the house and brutally murdered her because she wouldn't accept his love. I put in quotes. I get, because see, this is so far out of the way from like downtown and whatnot, I never thought I knew I would, but I thought it was just going to be a hassle to ever finish this video because I was going to have to come this far south. And then, boom, the house popped up. I'm doing a completely different video today. Um, I filmed the beginning of it, and um, I just didn't know I was going to get down here. But that house uh, down here in southwest Portland on uh, Corbett Avenue, still standing, is where Emma Ulrich was murdered. Yeah, this is just wild. You know, there's, there's practically nothing probably still existing in this area from 19, the 1920s. But yeah, he just walked into the house right behind her when she got home. She probably didn't think anything was amiss. She got off uh, her streetcar, I think a few couple blocks north of here, and walked towards this direction to go home right here. And he was waiting there for her. He'd given her, like, his ultimatum, whatever. She got off walked home he followed from pretty much right behind her chased her into this house and brutally murdered her and then like so many before he fled the area and was ultimately captured and was a complete brat about it god i can't believe i'm finally seeing this house right through that entry followed her killed her off and of course i took the notes an incredibly long time ago so I don't really remember too much about it. I don't even remember the guy's name who was the killer I say it in the earlier clips I got of downtown but yeah that was Emma Ulrich's house right there that she was murdered in for being you know too beautiful and too perfect and not accepting of a man's advances it's really it was so common back then I mean it's common enough today uh, I'm gonna go down this way. This looks like, God, please tell me this isn't a dead end. I, I should check this first. But yeah, I remember the guy that did it just pretty much refusing to take any responsibility for it. His, his attitude was constantly that he was the one wronged. He did what he had to do. He was unapologetic for it. I wish I could remember the douchebag's name, but I don't. Um, he did what he did. Nope, this is perfect. I do want to go this way. So, Hey, a little mini Historic Murders of Portland episode. I just happened to finally see the house. I've been waiting to finish that. And uh, that's that's that. Oh, you can actually see it, kind of. Through, you can see the house a little bit through this garage. Probably the um, kitchen. I want to say the kitchen that played a part in it. She was maybe chased to that area, but yeah, wild. And especially to see the house is still standing in an area where you know, there, there's homes over here, but there's really not. It's a more commercial buildings and apartments now. So it's real crazy 
to see that that home's kind of still standing there all by itself in this plethora of calmer 